Let's go. All right, I'll see it. All right, hello. My name is Kevin Strait, and this is a brief testimony of my life and what God has done in my life. Starting out, I was born in a Presbyterian family, and we went to church, and pretty much it was the typical American church club show up. We had a very good minister, um, and I happened to retain, you know, God's word does not return void, and so I get it, and I would absorb it as a child, um, but I didn't really have a gospel experience uh, until I was about 12 or 13 years old, and my brother took me to an evangelical church, and that's when I really encountered Jesus and the whole notion of being born again, and I did that, but that was a church that was far away, and I didn't get to go back to that church, so I did it as a one-time, and throughout high school, even though I knew the Lord, I strayed, and I really dabbled into all kinds of stuff, including the occult, um, got to see a part of the world that's real, that's evil and malevolent. Um, and I rededicated my life uh, when I was a senior in high school and uh, the power team came down, the guys with the big uh, break, ripping phone books and doing that kind of stuff. And that was a very, that was a positive experience. And that uh, really helped turn me around in a lot of different ways. Immediately after graduation of high school, I was off to basic training in the Army, and of course that's a, a unique experience. Um, I was always set to go in the Army, it's just one of those things, I was raised, grew up in the Cub Scouts and the Boy Scouts, back when they were the Boy Scouts and not what they are today, they were actually, integrity was important and being morally straight was actually part of what we learned and to grow boys to men. but. Um, Went in the Army, uh, and the plan was always to go back. Uh, uh, after I came back from basic and AIT, I went to community college and um, uh, got, got a degree in electrical engineering, uh, got an ROTC scholarship, went back in, was in the Medical Service Corps in the Army. Uh, did that for 20 years, retired as a major. Um, in that time, I went to a variety of different places, from Germany to Bosnia to... Um, Fort Bragg, Iraq, Afghanistan, um, got a master's degree. I was in Korea twice. Uh, I wound up retiring at Fort Sam Houston. So that's my career in a nutshell. I've been retired for about five years now. And um, I have two children. And I decided for these five years that I had the opportunity to spend quality time with them as, as a dad. And so I substitute teach and Right now, I'm just doing dad time with my kids. I'm working, uh, I am looking to probably could go back, uh, finish, use my GI Bill and uh, do some animation school, um, see what I can do. And the idea is for the full gospel. Right now with the millennials, they really want quick, condensed bites of information and then get out. And so uh, when I grew up, we had Aesop Fables. And right now, this young generation is growing up watching Japanese anime. Uh, not just the morals I think that we want them to get. So my idea is we can give them quick blurbs and I can work with my daughter who likes drawing and she can actually sit at the piano and just play God has blessed her. Um, her uh, my wife almost died in the pregnancy. So did uh, my daughter when she was born. She wasn't breathing for 30 seconds. So she's been a special needs child but we keep praying and uh, bring both she and my son to our prayer group and just to see how God uses that because she can just sit down at the piano and play easy listening music. She just, she just, she knows it by sound and it's just beautiful music she can make. Um, so some things that, that God has done in my life. Um, when I first uh, showed up in Germany and uh, the very next day I met my wife and the Holy Spirit said to me, hey, this is the woman you're going to marry. And uh, I said, well, that's interesting. So I just pursued it. And uh, we've been married 22 years now. And, uh, you know, marriages are like making mashed potatoes. You know, <laughs> you start peel them and then scrub them and boil them and mash them. And, yeah, that's marriage. Um, so she and I are both stubborn, strong-willed individuals. And that's been, a, it's been an interesting experience. Um, 
another time that God spoke to me, uh, this was, this was, you know, that was a positive sign. Another positive time, my son was very young and I was in a, uh, a Toys R Us and Holy Spirit said, hey, you better get your son right now. And my son was very hyper running around and he was headed out the front doors of the Toys R Us and he was, and I just yelled at the top of my voice, said, Sam, freeze. And he stopped and just as he did, he was there right on the sidewalk. Some guy screamed, was just screaming right across the road right there, probably going 45 miles an hour in the parking lot. And had my son just run out, he would have been punted like a football. Um, and that's, you know, God is real. He's there. Um, another time, and this is a, this is a negative report, um, I was in Korea. And um, God, I was late for a meeting, and I was running to a meeting, and um, the Lord said, hey, I, I saw this woman, this, this soldier coming out to me, and he says, stop and talk to her. And I, I, I got to go. And um, I went to the meeting. And the, uh, the next time I got to see that soldier, um, I was the casualty assistance officer. Because that, that night she committed suicide. And, um, you know, I was, I was one of many. But uh, that could have done something. And, and I was too busy with my career. And um, it's, a hard, it's a hard, bitter pill that, you know, God calls us to be ambassadors, and um, and sometimes he's very serious, you know, to reach out and help. Um, and I wound up having to escort that soldier's body all the way back and give her to her grandma in the United States. So other things God has shown me when I was originally flying to Germany and we flew over New York City and, and I looked down at the Twin Towers and the Statue of Liberty and God told me that the next time I'd see that place, it was going to be radically changed. It was that... There was going to be a very traumatic event that happened. That would have that was back in '95, and I'd never flown over New York since. I was actually in Korea on 9/11, so um, there are just those are just some of the things that God has said, um, and um, that's about it. And so, so what has God done in my life? Um, I mean, again, life is, to me, it's a character-building um, process. Um, you know, we talk about it, suffering in the Christian life as God is peeling back. You know, you know, being in the Army for 20 years, pride is part of who I am. Uh, Self-reliance. And God's got to say, no, 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 you've got to rely on me. You've got to listen to me. It's not about you. You've got to hear when I, when I tell you to do things. Um, you've got to be humble. You've got to be soft-spoken. You don't need to be judgmental. You know, in the military, your judgment, it's either right or or I come down with a hammer. And and God said, you don't always have to, do you want to be right or do you want to show grace? And that's all the all the balance of life is uh, the challenging thing. So that's where I'm at right now with, with the Lord is just looking at where he's leading me and and him crafting me in terms of, of evangelizing uh, this next generation. And that's where I am right now.